Hi. <laughs> Jack is 10 months old. 10 months old. He's eating a tomato right now. Is that a good tomato? Yeah. 10 months old. <clears throat> so Jack has a tooth. He got it a few weeks ago. And his second tooth is just now coming in, which explains why he wouldn't let mommy sleep for like three nights straight because he's teething. That second tooth's coming in. Jack likes to put everything in his mouth, which is very scary, but luckily he does not swallow the things that are not food related, but the food related stuff he does swallow, so that's good. Jack can stand by himself and he's just now doing it more often. It'd be like once in a great while, but now he's doing it a lot more often. He's moving around, so now we're going to focus on me. He stands. He's been doing it off and on throughout me helping him, but now he's starting to do it all by himself standing. Um, he says mama. He says dada. He is still breastfeeding. Ten months of breastfeeding. He wakes me up probably three to four times a night to breastfeed, but I fall right back to sleep. So I think he's more nursing to comfort sleep. Snuggling. Not really much, not really like full on eating, more like a comfort thing. Um, thinking of the top of my head, there's a lot of new things that he does. His hair is getting really long. I love playing with his hair. It's getting long enough where I can really like run my fingers through his hair. Um, he laughs, his neck is very ticklish, so I'm always touching his neck and he, and he just giggles away. Let's see. He started clapping his hands a couple weeks ago. I haven't seen him doing it recently, but there was this one weekend where he would just start clapping all by himself. I taught him the sign milk. So every time I'm about to breastfeed or show him my breast, I say, you want milk? Do you want milk? And I'll do that when he's like really fussy, when I know he's about to eat. So I'll do milk. Um, and Paul and I just started seeing him like two days ago. Um, he's not doing it high, but he'll have his hands down low and he'll do the movement. So I think he's telling me milk when he's being super fussy. So I've been, I, I'm pretty sure he's learned milk. Um, of course, I keep doing it to reinforce it. Uh, he's very talkative. When he hears music playing, he will dance to it. He, he'll get on his knees and stand up on his knees and he'll rock back and forth when he dances. He likes to sing in his baby way. He sings when he likes a pretty song. Um, when I say dada, I notice he'll look at his dad. Um, Paul notices that too, so he's very, very smart. He knows Dada, who Dada is for sure. He loves Kira and Dante. He adores them, and they make him laugh, and they're very affectionate with Jack as well. And Jack loves being, getting attention from his big brother and big sister. Um, a long time now, he's been taking his own baths, but I have the water super, super low in the bathtub. Um, and of course, I supervise him. I stand on the side with him, and he plays really well there in the, in the bathtub and splashes around. Um, I've been letting him play with the cabinets with the um, pots and pans. He gets a big, big kick out of that. That's what he's doing right now, so if you can hear it, that's him moving a uh, tableware container across the floor right now. <laughs> so sorry if that's too loud. I've mentioned this in the other vlogs. He hates his clothes. I think he's finally getting used to them. I think it's helping that we have to get him dressed every single day now that we go out, you know, to drop Dante off and then we have to go back out to go pick up Dante from school. So I think he's now getting okay with clothes, but he still he'll, uh, he'll like pull on his shirt and look right into my eyes and while he's pulling he just wants his clothes off so he hates wearing clothes but I think he's starting to get used to it he's starting to go longer wearing them before freaking out 
Um, he eats really, 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 really well. We watch him like a hawk while he's eating, of course, but um, he can handle his food very, very well. He's never had a choking incident as of yet. Um, I can remember a few times of Dante and Kara with that happening, but so far it hasn't happened with Jack, which is awesome. Um, we don't give him any baby food. We really eat, give him what we're currently eating. So whatever we're eating, we give him little, little pieces. Kindergarten homework. This is a Jack update, but that's, that was for Dante's homework. He did it. Um, daddy just now. What else is going on with Jack? Yeah, we don't do any baby foods. You he's, text me at night? Yeah, I, I think I told you guys that oh. he's a funny, aggressive, hilarious baby. He attacks us in a cute baby way. Um, yeah, we don't do any baby foods. They're really runny and they're really messy. Yeah, can you do that for me? Mm -hmm. um, he eats really, really well. Well, I have to watch Ruby because she's a thief. If she sees a little bit of food on his face, she'll try to go steal it from him. So I have to make sure it's all the way in his mouth before I'm like, okay, he's good. But if a little bit is out or on his chin or something, she'll try to steal his food. Um, he likes to grab his own food food with his own hands, which I absolutely love, but again with Ruby, she will steal his food in his hands. Um, obviously we're not giving him honey, we aren't letting him try any peanuts, we aren't letting him try any peanut. No fish. No fish. Um, the stuff that little babies should not eat until they're at least two, he has not been eating, um, so he's not eating anything else. Um, breastfeeding. Um, I can have a little bit of dairy in my diet and it won't affect him. But if I go crazy, like if I eat like lasagna, which ha a lasagna has a lot of cheese, he will be up all night with tummy pains. And if there's too much dairy um, and I eat it and it goes through my breast milk, it will affect his tummy and I'll, we'll both have a bad night and it will be me apologizing all night long. I'll be half asleep saying, sorry that I ate that dairy. <laughs> I feel terrible because I know what gas pains feels like and it's not pleasant. So I feel bad that I'm the cause of why he's having tummy issues. Um, but if I have like a little bit of dairy, then he's fine. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. We just know that he's getting really smart. I can't believe he's 10 months old. I can't believe he'll be one in two months. Oh my goodness. That means Dante's birthday is in one month from today because their birthdays are a month apart. Um, He's our joy. He just makes us really happy and I can't get enough of him. If I'm in a bad mood or something, I can just look at that little baby and I can just feel better. He, he really does make me feel better. Um, so that is it for Jack Jack's 10 months. He has a couple of nicknames. Um, his nickname is The Boss. I've named him that when he was a newborn, but I haven't called him that that much lately. Um, we call him Jackie, Jackie Boy. I say Jackie the most. I think out of all of the nicknames, I call him Jackie the most. Like, it's becoming like his name name. I say Jackie so much. Paul calls him Jackie Boy. Kira and Dante call him Jackie Boy. Um, Jack Jack. My family calls him Jack Jack. I can hear Kira crying in the background. But I think that's it for the update. Um, He's just a really smart baby, and we're super happy to have him. <laughs> Alrighty, hope everyone's having a good day. Bye.